Jambo, hello, welcome to today's lesson. This is Naomi. How are you? Are you fine? Yeah, so today we are going to learn about weather and seasons. Someone requested for the video, so we're going to do it today. Weather and seasons. So in Swahili, weather and seasons will be Hali ya anga na majira. Hali ya anga na majira. Hali ya anga na majira. So, hali ya anga na majira. Hali ya anga na majira. So, we are going to fill this crossword or puzzle, cross crossword puzzle. We're going to fill it uh, with vocabularies for weather and seasons. So, are you ready? Can we start? Yeah. So, let's go. Let's go. So, our first one is snow. Snow. So, number one is here. So, our first one is snow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven words. Snow. So, in snow in Swahili is beluji. Beluji. Be lu ji the lu ji the lu ji snow then our number two is rain 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 number two number two is here so number two across number two across is m bu this is v m bua rain m bua rain then this going down Going down it is clouds, clouds. Ma wingu, ma wingu. Ma wingu, ma wingu. So ma wingu, na wingu. Wingu is like singular. Ma wingu is plural. Wingu is singular. Ma wingu is plural. So ma wingu, ma wingu. Uh, our third one is drought drought uh drought is number three number three is number three so it's a word uh five five letter word one two three four five drought what is drought in swahili ukame 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 then the fourth what the fourth word the fourth word is thunder 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 in swahili what is thunder in swahili so number four let's look for four 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 words four here going this way four is going across so uh thunder in swahili is gurumo 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 Gurumo. So it will be gu ru mo. Gurumo. 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 Our fifth word. Our fifth word is breeze. Ooh, a cool breeze. A cool breeze. What is a cool breeze in Swahili? A cool breeze in Swahili is upepo mwanana. Upepo mwanana. Upepo mwanana. So that is number um, number five. Let's look for number five. Let's look for number five. Where is number five? Oh, here, here, here. So, u pe po mwa. Sorry about this. Mwa na na. Upepo mwanana. Cool breeze. Then, number six. Number six is season. What is season in Swahili? What is season in Swahili? So, season in Swahili, there are two words. There is msimu. Msimu or misimu in plural. Msimu singular. Misimu in plural. Seasons. Or you can say 
Majira. 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 So let's look for number six. The first, the first uh, word for season. So it's, it's here. Let's see number six. So m c m m c m m c m season. Then there's also another word which is majira, which still means season. So let's see majira seasons number seven. It's number seven, so ma g ra majira or msimu majira or msimu yes so let's go to number eight number eight is showers oh showers oh blessings showers the the literary yeah? showers so it is number eight so let's look for number eight number eight oh number eight is here number eight is here let me move aside uh, sorry my board is not so sticky but let's look number eight is manyunyu 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 so shower this manyunyu m ma nyu nyu manyunyu showers manyunyu yes number nine number nine number nine is winter what do we call winter in swahili what is winter in swahili winter in swahili is kipupwe kipupwe that is kipupwe the season is kipupwe so number nine kipupwe let's look for number nine number nine where are you here so ki pu ki pu ah ki pu pwe sorry we can we have to add one here ki pu pwe ki pu pwe yes ki pu pwe ki pu pwe is winter number 10 number 10 is storm what do we call storm in swahili so storm in swahili is the ruba the ruba where is number 10 here here number 10 so number 10 is the ruba the ruba the ruba is storm the ruba okay okay let's go to number 11 so number 11 is sun sun what do we call sun in swahili sun so number 11, let's look for number 11 here. So number 11 going down is sun. Sun is jua, 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 sun, sun, sun. Then let's do number 11 across, number 11 across. So number 11 across is a warm or how to say warm or hot. Hot or warm, how to say hot or warm is joto. Joto, it's hot. Ni joto. Hot. So joto. Joto. So number 11 across is joto. 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 Yes. Okay. Let's go to number 12. Number 12, the word is air. Air. We breathe in air. So what is air? in swahili what is air in swahili so let's go let's look for number 12 first where is number 12 here 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 yes air in swahili is hewa 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 air in swahili is hewa so let's write he oh sorry it couldn't reach down here this is my mistake while making the crossword puzzle i'll do better next time so let's just say the word ends here yes the word ends here hewa hewa yeah sorry i made it by myself from scratch so forgive me this time i'll be making better ones yeah so 
hewa hewa and the word ends here hewa yes let's go to number 13 number 13 number 13 is ice what do we call ice in swahili ice in swahili ice in swahili so let's look for number 13 first where is it where is it, where is it? number 13 ah here 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 so it's a how many one letter word one two three four five six six words and it starts with b oh sorry i shouldn't have said that so uh i think so it is ba ra fu barafu barafu ice in swahili is barafu barafu mm, barafu okay so let's go to number 14 number 14 what do we call call in swahili call oh it's call we say baridi ni baridi baridi so baridi is number 14 number 14 let's look for number 14 number 14 where is it where is it here 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 this number 14 here is number 14 sorry for my whiteboard my whiteboard is not so sticky sorry for it so let's go for number 14 14 is here so one two three four five six hey how many letters six ba ba ri di ba ri di called is baridi 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 okay let's go to number 15 15 number 15 number 15 is summer how do we call summer in swahili how do we call summer in swahili summer is kiangazi 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 so let's look for number 15 where is it where is it kiangazi okay kiangazi from here number 15 haha <laughs> Ah, yeah. let's try to see if it will uh, this is also a mistake so okay just forgive me for today i'll be making better crosswords puzzles crossword puzzles aha so this is key yeah Nga. sorry wait 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 key Nga. okay Kiangazi. Oh, sorry. Kiangazi. Kiangazi. So this one here is supposed to be out. Kiangazi. Kiangazi. That's summer. Kiangazi, that is summer. Okay, looks better, looks better, right? Yes. Higher. Let's go to number. This was number fifteen. Kiangazi, number sixteen. Number sixteen. Number sixteen is wind. Wind. How do we call wind in Swahili? Wind in Swahili. So wind is upepo. You remember the breeze was upepo mwanana. So this is Mwanana is the the object here. Upepo is uh, is wind. Upepo is wind. Then Mwanana becomes a cool Mwanana, cool. So Upepo Mwanana. So wind in Swahili is Upepo. That was number sixteen. Where is number sixteen? Did we find it? Number sixteen. Where are you? Number sixteen. Oh no, I can't see. Ah, number 16 is here. Upepo. Wind. Upepo. Wind. Number 16 is here. Upepo. Upepo. Yes. Oh, ah, yeah. Let's go to number 17. Number 17 is rainbow. Rainbow. How do we call rainbow in Swahili? How do we call rainbow in Swahili? Rainbow in Swahili, number 17. So it's a long word here. So rainbow is called upinde, upinde, wa, mvua. So this is mvua rain and upinde wa mvua. 
upinde wa mvua some wa means something of rain upinde wa mvua so rainbow is called upinde wa mvua it's not one word it is upinde wa mvua yeah just because of the crossword puzzle it's like this but it's not it's not one word it's upinde wa mvua upinde wa mvua okay number 18 number 18 what is number 18 number 18 is humidity humidity yeah there's a lot of humidity like water in the air so what is humidity humidity in swahili is unyevu unyevu humidity in swahili is unyevu so let's look for number 18 where is it ah here number 18 so u nye mu unyevu unyevu aha uh -huh. unyevu humidity humidity okay okay so let's go to number 19 what is number 19 number 19 is uh, spring what do we call spring in swahili what do we call spring in swahili spring in swahili is vuli vuli so let's look for number 19 number 19 where are you here so number 19 will be vuli vuli the word ends here vuli 19 is vuli 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 okay aha uh -huh. let's go to number 20 number 20 is dew dew what do we call dew in swahili what do we call dew in swahili so dew in swahili is umande 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 which is number 20 let's look for number 20 number 20 umande here it is here it is u ma nde umande 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 dew umande 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 okay okay so let's go to number 21 21 sky 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 what do we call sky what is sky in swahili what is sky in swahili so sky in swahili is anger 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 yes sky is anger so let's look for number 21. Anger. So you remember we also said earlier anger. Eh? You can also say earlier hewa or hewa or hunger. So hali, hali uh, would mean like the condition. Hali is condition, yeah? Condition of the sky or condition of the air. So, hali ya anger or hali ya hewa. Still, will all bo both will mean weather. Okay, okay. So, which number are we? We are in number 22. We are in number 22. So, how do we call mist in Swahili? How do we call mist in Swahili? So, number 22 is mist. Let's look for mist. Number 22, where are you? Here, 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 number 22. Okay, so, <laughs> uh, hey, so miss is ukungu, ukungu, eh? ukungu, ukungu. The word ends here, the word ends here, <laughs> yeah. Uh, ukungu, ukungu, ukungu is um, mist. Ukungu is mist. Okay, let's go to number 23. Number 23. Where is number 23? Here. You can see it here. So number 23 is lightning. How do we how do we call lightning in Swahili? How do we call lightning in Swahili? So lightning in Swahili is radi. 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 
R the D. So here we had Gurumo. Gurumo na Radi. Gurumo na Radi. This is thunder and lightning. Gurumo na Radi. Gurumo na Radi. So Radi is lightning. Gurumo is thunder. And when you say na is and. So thunder and lightning. Gurumo na Radi. Yes. Okay. So let's go to number 23. Number 23. Sorry, we already done number 23. So what's, what is remaining? Which one is remaining? Ah, oh, there is number 24 and there is number 25. Okay. So let's do number 24. So number 24. Number 24. Where is number 24? Let's do number 24, which is spring. Number 24 is spring. Spring with number 24 here. Number 24 is here. And spring in Swahili is Masika. Masika. Right? Masika. Spring is Masika. We said Voli. Oh, sorry. I think, did I say Voli is spring? Really sorry. Voli is autumn. Autumn is Voli, Voli. Spring is Masika. Masika is spring. Vuli is autumn. Autumn. Autumn is Vuli. Vuli. Please, sorry if I had said spring. Vuli is um, Vuli is uh, autumn. Yeah. So, Vuli is autumn, spring is Masika. Vuli, autumn, spring is Masika. Okay, let's do the last one, number 25. Number 25, what were we saying? Number 25 is temperature. Temperature. Temperature in Swahili, you can say Hali Joto. Hali Joto, Hali Joto, which is number 25. Hali Joto. Halijoto, temperature. Halijoto. So, number 25 is Halijoto, which is temperature. Okay, I think we've completed our crossword puzzle, have we? Yeah? Everything is filled. Everything is filled. Apart from small errors, <laughs> or, yeah, apart from small errors, I think it's pretty clear it's pretty clear so these are words that you will find about weather there are still so many words yes and if you know other words on weather kindly comment down below so we'll do this as part one and the next part i uh, will talk about like how to say it's raining it's shining the sun is uh, setting such things yeah so in our next weather and season class in our next weather and seasons class, we're going to talk about making sentences or which verbs are used specific for or specific on weather. Yes, we'll do that. But for today, this is all for today. I hope you've learned something. I hope you've enjoyed. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next class. Kindly don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to comment and like. Yes. And I'm looking forward to the next class with you. So stay healthy, stay strong, and see you next time. Kwaheri!